Hi guys, welcome back to another Let's Draw. And today we're gonna to be making these really fun tiger collages. A collage is when you cut and glue different pieces of paper or sometimes fabric or other materials together to make a new picture. If you don't have scissors and glue at home or maybe you don't have a lot of paper, you will be able to do this project just as a regular drawing too and I'll talk about that later. But before we get started, I wanted to talk about a couple things that we are going to be doing in this artwork today. So something that we're gonna be practicing in this artwork is overlapping shapes and using background, middle ground, and foreground. So overlapping shapes is obviously when you have things that are in front of other things, like how the leaf is in front of the flower or the leaves are in front of the tiger and stuff like that. Using those things in your artwork helps make your art a lot more interesting. Background, middle ground, and foreground are things that you'll see in almost any picture that you would take with a cell phone and a lot of paintings that are in nature scenes. So background is what is in the very back of the picture. So if you look at me, these rainbow doors behind me would be the background. Foreground is something that is the furthest forward. So if you were to put something right in front of me right here, like I guess my hand, that would be the foreground. And then middle ground isn't always used in pictures, but if you did have something right in front of me, then me here, I would be in the middle ground because I'm between, I'm in the middle of the front and the back. You don't have to always use all three things in your pictures, but it does make your drawings a lot more interesting because you'll get more of an idea of where that person or object is located and what's going on. It also helps make your art look a bit more three-dimensional. One artist who does a great job using these techniques is Henri Rousseau. Henri Rousseau is a French painter born in 1844. He only started painting seriously at age 49, and he was ridiculed by critics. At the time, many people were not used to seeing art that was not exactly like real life. Despite being criticized for his art, he kept going and eventually became very well known and respected for his work. One of his paintings that inspired this project we are doing today is this painting here. It has two different names, one being Tiger in a Tropical Storm or Surprise. Notice how he uses a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. Although the tiger is probably the most important part of the painting, is he in the foreground? No, he's in the middle ground. Many plants are overlapping in front and behind the tiger, making this piece very interesting to look at with a lot of fun details. A lot of times when you're making a drawing, you want to make the subject or the person or animal in that drawing in the foreground. But you can see with Henri's painting that you don't have to do that, and it makes it a lot more interesting. So now that we've talked about those things and seen our inspiration, we're gonna get started on our tiger collage. So, before we get started, you wanna think about if you want to do yours as a drawing, meaning you don't wanna cut or glue anything. If that's the case, you're going to want to do this whole drawing in pencil first, because there's going to be a lot of things that you will be erasing as you're overlapping shapes. If you're going to be doing the collage, make sure you have a couple pieces of paper that you're able to cut and glue together. If you are doing the drawing, you're gonna follow the steps, but just follow the drawing part. And obviously when I start drawing on other papers, the leaves and flowers and stuff, you would just be adding it all on the same paper. But go ahead and get your supplies, scissors and glue if you want to do the collage with me. See, I even wore my shirt that kind of matches our project. And let's get started. All right, so as a reminder, if you are not going to be cutting and gluing, do everything in pencil first. However, if you are doing the collage, you could start with marker first if you want to. We're gonna begin with our tiger's face. So right in the middle, I'm gonna draw a nice big oval for my tiger's face. And then on top of the head, I'm gonna do a curved line here and a curved line here. I'm gonna do another curved line inside each of those ears. Now for the face, I like to do the nose first. So down here, I'm gonna do a little curved line like that with a letter V underneath. On each side, 
You're gonna do a line that goes straight up and down, not all the way to the top, just a little ways. That. And then we're gonna do like the mouth and cheek area. So, starting right here at this corner, make a line that kind of curves. It's like a circle, and it ends up right at the middle of the nose. And the other side, like that. On the first one, I did a curved line with the tongue sticking out. I think on this one, I'm gonna actually do like this. Like that's the inside of the mouth, and I'll have the little teeth showing, because that's kind of cool. If you want to add whiskers, you can add those curved lines. And for the eyes, I just did circles. Remember our artist, Henri Rousseau, he did not make his stuff look exactly like real life. If you want yours to look more real, you could look up a picture. Do another circle, a little highlight. Perfect, okay. And then if you want yours to maybe look a little mean, you could do some angry eyebrows or just leave it the way it is. And then we're not going to do the pause in front. We're gonna leave that for now, but we can add this little curve for the tail. You can go ahead and add your stripes now if you want to. If you wanna look up a picture of the real thing, go for it, otherwise you can just kind of make it up. All right, I'm done with the tiger. Now we're gonna make just a few big leaves in the background. So I would not make these super interesting because they are gonna get covered. So maybe like two curved lines that meet in a point with like a line down the middle. You could do kind of like a zigzag outline with a little point at the end. I always add these little lines in the leaves to just make them look more interesting. You can make any kinds of leaves or foliage that you want. So don't feel like the way that I've done mine is how you have to do yours. It's really just whatever seems fun for you. Now, if you are not going to be cutting and gluing and making yours a collage, you do not want to color right now. What you'll want to do is kind of skip the part of the video where I color this and draw the next parts on. However, if you are gonna cut in blue, we actually want to color in this stuff right now before we go on to our next steps. So you can color yours any way you want, but I think it's really fun to try mixing crayons and markers to give it a cool effect, almost like it's painted. So I'm gonna grab out my yellow and orange crayons and some markers that I'm gonna use for the tiger. All right, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna color these light kind of peach areas around the eyes. Um, you don't have to do this part, you can really color it however you want, but I wanna do this part first just because I want these to stay pretty light. I'm also gonna color in the ears and on the mouth area. Now I'm gonna color in the nose and the mouth and the eyes before we go on to the orange. And now I think it's really fun to use crayons before your marker and actually just go in and press kinda hard, don't break your crayons but just really scribble the color in in the areas that you have left. I'm not scribbling over the areas that I already colored, but scribbling, leaving lots of white. I'm gonna go do the same with orange now. And now I take my marker and I just color over it. And your marker is not gonna completely cover the crayon, which ends up looking really cool. It looks like you painted your paper. If you don't have crayons, you can kind of do this effect just with like different color markers or color pencils. 
and just kind of still doing the same scribbly thing. Um, but the marker kind of gives you the coolest effect, in my opinion. All right, I think that looks really cool. It looks like we painted it. Now I'm gonna go on to my leaves. And one thing I do recommend is in the background to maybe just do your leaves a bit darker because then the ones that you put in the foreground will be a little bit brighter and can stand out. So I'm only gonna use marker. I'm not gonna use crayons on my leaves in the back. One last thing that I think does look really nice is if you do color your background in with black or another dark color. So I'm gonna quick do that before we go on to our next step. Okay, so now we're ready to go on to the collage part, which is going to be on another paper drawing more leaves, plants, and the paws that we can cut out and glue down. So I'm gonna put this aside and get a new paper. And what you wanna do is draw your plants, your paws, your flowers in Sharpie or black marker or something before you color. So let's do the paws first. Just up here, I'm gonna draw a curved line with one, two, three, four curves at the bottom. And another one. One, two, three, four. So those are the paws. You can add little stripes too. And then I'm going to start with three flowers. So I'm actually just gonna make three circles that are gonna be for the centers leave them a little spaced out from each other. And then I'm gonna do these kind of bumpy cloud shapes that will be the outside of the flower. Make sure they're bigger than the circles. And then you're going to draw a couple different shapes for leaves. So you could do two curved lines like this, kind of like the ones that we just did. And you can always do more shapes on another piece of paper, but I'm going to go in now and kind of like my tiger, I'm gonna just scribble in these shapes using some different colors. The nice thing is you can go way outside the lines and it doesn't matter because you're gonna cut it out. Okay, <laughs> so now I need to cut all these shapes out. Oh, I forgot to color in my tiger paws. All right, now I'm gonna cut all my shapes out. All right, so I got all that cut out. Now I'm just gonna get my scraps that are garbage out of the way. And then I'm gonna put my pieces that are not garbage over here so I don't lose them. And I'm going to put my paper back. So now I would not just go and start gluing stuff down right away. I would actually kind of take the pieces and lay them out almost like a puzzle. So you can decide what pieces you want where and how you want them to look. I kind of like to have this one look like Oh, it looks like he's eating the flower. That's kind of cute. And the flowers don't have to attach to a leaf or anything. They can just be kind of random. And I think I'll have one foot maybe kind of looking like it's holding on to this leaf here. And then maybe one over here like he's holding the leaf. And actually, I like that a lot. So if you lay it out and you like how it looks, 
Then you wanna take your glue stick and just kind of glue the pieces together. So I would start with, you know, your circles to glue to your flowers. And obviously you wanna glue like, if you want this hand on that leaf, you gotta glue that first. So I'm gonna glue my pieces. All right, and of course, I'd probably spend a little more time to glue these down, but for this one, I think that's good. I like how this one's so different, and then this one here is also really different. So collages are so fun because you get to overlap things. You get to make your foreground, your middle ground, and your background, and it just is a really different way to make art. Of course, if you just drew it instead, that's still really cool as well because you're still using the overlapping shapes and your foreground, middle ground, and background. But just take your time kind of moving your pieces around and seeing how you want it to look. Well guys, I hope you had fun making your tiger collages with me. I had a lot of fun making this one. I just think collages are really cool and I like getting to color things in a little bit different way with like the scribbly stuff. I would love to see how yours turned out. And I will see you guys next time for our next drawing video. Bye.